talk about International Women's Day? Yes. Which is? On Tuesday the 8th of March, and we're hosting 100 events in the tramway as it's the 100th International Women's Day from 10 in the morning till 11 o'clock at night. That's a long day. It's a very long day. So tell me a bit about what the cause is. The cause is uh, gender discrimination in the extreme and gender discrimination in all its forms. One of the central pieces of work that will be here will be a 100 million stitch blanket that we've been gathering since October. And it's been sent in from countries all over the world, so we've got 14 countries that we know of that have been knitting for us. So you've had people sending in the squares that you're now stitching together from all over the world? Correct. Awesome. Yep. I never realised it was 100 million. That's the endeavour, because there are estimated to be 100 million women missing from the world's demography because of gender discrimination. So each stitch is symbolic of a woman missing right, okay. from the world because of gender discrimination in the extreme. But we're looking beyond that. So the problem that we have then is that you don't have the bombs on seats really? No, we need about 100 questions. women to make it happen. Okay. Um, currently we've got five, five. Loads of empty seats then. <laughs> So basically, we're in Tramway Theatre. Yeah. We're in Albert Drive in the Southside. 25 Albert Drive. You don't have. G41 2 PE. Get it on the side now. So you don't have to have stitching experience? No, we've got lovely ladies on hand who are happy to teach you how to stitch. My mum's here, Margaret Williams, Gloria can help you. Catherine's been in all week, Adele's here all week, and yeah, there's Sunday stitches will be here on Sunday also. Okay, that's a pretty special thing to be Yeah. I think we've been heartened and reassured by the kindness of folk from all over the place. Like the goodwill has been quite astonishing. So yes. It's just not in the in mass. I think done. folk are kind of like, oh, I can't come for a whole day, but really, if folks can drop in for an hour, they can achieve a lot. So if folks have got time. They're also welcome to come in and get bundles of squares and take them away and bring them back. So you, I mean, they're going out on the day. They're going to have loads of art and interest and stuff like that. Would that be a flyer? This would be a flyer for the day. Nice one. We can maybe get a wee photo of that and put that up as well. Yeah. So, um, we know the cause, we know what you need, we know where it's happening. How do people contact you? They can contact us uh, by turning up. We're going to be here all day every day. Or if you want to email us, we're at garterstitch100 at gmail.com. The website address is also there, the bottom of the flyer. Okay, cool. What about things like Twitter? Have you got any? Yeah, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, and I think we're even on MySpace. MySpace. What? Who? Hmm? That's cool. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> Jetson and Jansen is the name of your... Yeah, Jetson and Jansen, we're, I guess we're two friends who had an idea and it's all got out of hand. This is a dance theatre piece gone wrong. or gone a, a dance theatre piece gone wrong, or yeah. gone very right. Basically, Ruth and I had a residency at the workroom, which is housed in the yeah. tramway and we got given time and we were left alone in a room for three days and came up with this. Cool. Yeah. People are more than welcome to come on the day also, come any time as much as you can between now and then. Turn up on Tuesday. If you want to volunteer, contact Jen again at garterstitch100 at gmail.com. But yeah, if you think of anything or anyone that might help and might want to help, then give us a shout. Awesome. Yeah. Right. Let's do it.